Right now, there's when we look at when we look at this, this is the realm of science, yeah, you're talking about evolution and stuff like that. If we look at the start point, the start point is that we can see certain observations. We can see um, uh, differences in certain uh, species. Now what happens is there's a presupposition of atheism in, in some certain people's belief. And their presupposition means that they can never accept that there's a creator. So what they're forced to do is explain what we can see around us using their atheistic terms, uh, so you, uh, uh, upon their atheistic belief that there is no creator. We're going to come up with a, a method to explain the whole, everything around us using only materialism. So don't be, don't fall into that. There's a difference between what we can see clearly and then what we can infer from that. Okay. I'll give you one of the most the statements of one of the most prominent atheists, and what we can do as well. I'll give you uh, this clip, and this clip is basically one of the most prominent atheists called Peter Atkins. And he was uh, he was in a, in a, a discussion, a radio show with some theists, some I think they were Christian, and they asked him um, what evidence would convince you of God. And remember, this is a biologist, professor of biology in Oxford, the highest of the highest of academia. He said, no evidence. I, I would never be satisfied with any evidence. If, 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 if the stars were to line up and say, believe in me, Peter, I'd rather say that I'm mad. Now, in the Quran, we have something like this, the, the, the book of the Muslims that Allah gave to the Muslims. To, 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 to. It says that if the, stairway, if the stairway to heaven was to be open for them, they would still not, this, they would still not believe. So this is clearly his prior belief is affecting his science now. There's nothing that he can ever accept that will prove to God, God exists. He'd rather say that he's mad. Now, this, this is like the most, and this is at the highest, highest level. Professor of Biology at Oxford, Peter Atkins, uh, for years, prizes and awards and stuff. So this shows you that at the highest level, the mentality is forget talking about God. Now the whole idea about science, science is not even a realm that discusses about God. It's not even, it doesn't even um, have the scope 
to actually address the address, address the question. Because the question of does God exist is not a scientific question. Can I, can I make a point on that? Um, so you were talking about science is not based on there's like a presumption of atheism, but that is interesting because the the beginning of science is the the 18th century, the 80s and 19th centuries, and most of the foundational scientists in history were Catholic or Christians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they so, were all believing God, and still they did science. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's so, no representation of atheism. No, no. So what, I, what I'm right. saying is, right now in academia, because we have to distinguish when we say science, what do we mean? There's hardcore science, and then there's scientists that carry the flag of science. Not everything a scientist, a scientist says is science, correct? Yeah. Okay. So we're looking at the hardcore science. What is the hardcore science? Study of the physical world using observation, experimentation, and repeatability. Yeah. Okay. When we go into the explanations of these observations, this is where people's philosophical assumptions come in. I can explain, I can explain something, um, I, I can observe something and he can observe the same thing, but based upon my philosophical assumptions, my explanation of that observation will be different to his one. Yeah, that's part of science. Yeah, yeah. so that's what we're saying. So we need to distinguish the pure, hardcore science that we can see and observe, the repeatable, testable observations from these explanations, these speculations of what happened billions of years ago that we can't repeat, and we're going to explain it using this, using that. So what I'm showing you by mentioning that quote by Peter Atkins is that at the highest level, the highest academic kind of qualifications, professor of biology at Oxford, if I remember correctly, Peter Atkins, he is teaching the next generations, thousands, hundreds and hundreds of these, these scientists, and his prior assumption is that there's no way you can prove God. And 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 if you were to, hang on, if you were to discuss prove God, he will say to you prove it to me using science. But yet he's not open to proof. Isn't, isn't the skepticism the basis of science? Skepticism. What we would say is that the, the so thing that is the clear basis of science, no. not acknowledging anything, putting everything on doubt. No, no. That's how science works. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. I, think, so, I think that's at least modern science is based on that. No, no, it's not. It's not. Yeah, it, it, it is. I'll, I'll explain. Okay. I, I've, I've studied biology yeah. at Oxford. Have you, have you studied the philosophical? Have, have you seen Peter Atkins then? No, I haven't met him personally. Uh, um, the philo philosophical assumptions of science. Mm -hmm. Do you know any of them? If you look at philosophical assumptions, uh, there are some theories behind how to approach science. No, the, 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 what underpin the science. I.e. the scientific method cannot work unless X, Y and Z. Have you studied any of these? Is, put it this way, is the scientific method scientific? Well, it is, yeah. No, no. Is the, can the scientific method, yeah, can that be established using the scientific method? It doesn't establish itself, does it? Rather, there's certain assumptions and presumptions that have to be in place in order for the scientific method to work and, and to be a reliable tool for ascertaining how uh, how uh, the physical world operates. Exactly, until that scheme that we create doesn't work and then we create another scheme. So but, it's like but look, trial and error all look, the time. Look, look what I'm trying to say. Yeah? What I'm trying to say is this. The philosophical assumptions of the scientific method are that this universe exists. Yep. That this universe is observable mm -hmm. and that these observations can be explained and follow a rational order. You can yeah. explain rationally. Until we find another better way uh -huh. to prove things. Uh -huh. uh -huh. right? So, based upon this, now science, if these things are assumed to be true, now we can use science to explain the interactions of the physical world. Okay, but we can't establish the scientific method with the scientific method. We have to have these assumptions first. Yeah, but so far these have proven to be the Correct. most reliable. Yes, yes, right? yes. So, exactly. so what we say is not on the not on the uh, not on the level of um, can we see God in the lab in a petri dish, the fingerprint of God and stuff like that. It's on that prior level, that necessary level, what we call known by necessity, that the universe exists. The universe is observable and the universe follows a rational order. It's on that level that we argue God exists. Okay. Not on, not on the, yeah, not on the yeah. level. But then how do you prove that your method is more reliable than that method? There's, there's no look, it's not it's not a scientific question. What is okay, what is yeah, but I mean how how do we decide which method do we rely on? The scientific or the no, this, 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 the scientific method does it deal with the supernatural? I think there's a branch called metaphysics. So, so, so the science is the study of the physical world yep. using observation, experimentation. And yeah. In that definition, it's there. It's the study of 
what? The physical world. Su supernatural, by definition, is immaterial, not physical. So now can we use a meat? Okay, that's basically you're using a sound meter to measure light, or you you're using a. Uh, let me give you another example. You, that, that example works. Okay, yeah, it works. But sound. then tell me, what yeah. do you want to measure, and how do you want to measure, so I can the reason, accept it? The reason, the reason is enough. How did we how did we understand that the scientific method was a valid tool? We had reason. We had necessary necessary argument. A starting point. We, we accepted it because so far it has been proved reliable. No, no. We accepted it. So far, this, it is a solid method. This is yeah. It, I'm talking about the assumptions, not the, me yeah. not the method itself. Because yeah. the method is based upon the assumptions. Yeah, but it's the most reliable yeah, we have. Yeah, yeah. But the, the scientific method is, does not cover outside of the physical world. Yeah, I guess science so is working on that. So yeah. you're basically using a sound meter that's in decibels to measure light or to measure speed, for example. Do you understand what you're yeah, trying to yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're, you're trying to use something point. that can only measure the physical world, but we're, the very subject we're discussing is not the is outside of I the know, physical world. I know, but how do you define the not physical world? I mean, if we don't know that something exists, how are we supposed to measure it? So this is this is basically mat pure materialism. Exactly. Ha, 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 you're, 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 the, the, that's that's only matter exists. But you're you're pre you're preassuming that the supernatural exists. Yeah, absolutely. But how do you prove that? I, absolutely. So, so do, you, do you believe that the only matter exists? I I. As a scientist, I guess that I, my presumption is that I only believe what I see, what I touch, what I perceive. So, do you believe that only matter exists? I don't know. I wouldn't say that. So you, need, you, need think, that. you need to think about this question because if I think that science. Your, 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 your starting point. No, no, no. This, 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 but how, how can I know on, if something on, that I don't know that exists on, exists? You do know it exists. That is a like epist epistemological question. Look, look, you do know it exists. No, I don't. Yeah, okay. Does meaning take okay, meaning? Okay. Um, then I was, okay, look at that. Let's analyze this using chemistry, physics, and biology. Pull and bear. These 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 things have meaning to them. What what's that, what does it cover? If it's only matter. These have meaning to them to themselves. Look, these, these shapes. Where is where is white on a black surface? Yeah, we give them meaning. Yeah. Okay. They are just okay. Out atoms. Okay. So if they if they're just atoms. Yeah. An energy. Yeah. Okay. So can we analyze it using physics? You know, look, look at the last one. Bear. Bear. Mm -hmm. This is letters on on a, on a on a black surface that puts a mind an image in our head of something else. Yeah. A meaning. Yeah. Is that now? Can we study that using physics and and, and infer the meaning of a bear? You can study that from chemistry and psychology. No, no, yes. no, 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 yes. no, 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 no. If you're saying that everything... The neurons in your brain yeah. that connect a picture that you see through the, optic, through the optics of your eyes so, and connect that idea... So there's no such thing as meaning then, that's what you believe. There is no such meaning, it's only chemical reactions. Yeah, I think... Because it can mean something to you, something different I mean, I, to someone I, I, else. I haven't found any so, other so, better So what you're called, you're a materialist. I think that's part of science, yeah. No, if I can no, explain no, no. it, I'm this not going to believe this, it. This is what they're teaching you. You have to distinguish between materialism, the assumption that only matter exists, and if, if something other than matter exists, how would you establish it? If something other than matter exists? Yeah, how would you establish it? How do you know that that exists? How would you establish how would, would you be open to trying to establish it? Yeah, if I know that it exists, and, and how, I don't and what, know if that exists. And what tool would you use? If you say science, then you're using a, a thing that can only yeah, measure exactly. matter. Exactly, I think that that is a good point. But it's, so what, if, so I, if I if I knew, no, that, that's a question. What, if I knew that something is above matter, that, this, thing, this, that this means I can perceive that. This, this, is, the, this is the thing that you're, this is the thing that you're conflating. You're saying if I knew. I'm asking you, is the only way you can come to know of something using a scientific method? Well, so far, this is the only way you can then, prove something. Then this is called scientism. You know what scientism is? I just... That, that, end, that, that all, all reality... And how do you know that there is something beyond matter? Is, this is necessary. Because, why? Because the scientific... And, you, and this is why you contradicted your whole assumption. Because the starting point of the scientific method is not established using the scientific method. It's established using innate, natural, uh, necessary arguments. This universe exists. This universe uh, is observable. And this, or, this, or, uh, observ this observable universe follows the order. It's on that level that we make the argument for God. Not on the, 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 the later level. So what I would suggest for you to do is check out our website called aboutatheism.net. Mm -hmm. Aboutatheism.net. Yeah?
and you'll see in there that um, the many arguments for, for God and uh, the, the kind of sleight of hand that's been do done by the by the scientists and stuff. But what I would say, you need to understand what scientism is, and you need to understand what are the boundaries of a scientific method. Now, I, know, I understand on, the boundaries. Hang on, hang on. I just I don't know how to measure something. I don't know that exists. You can't, you can't really understand huh? them. If you can say that they, that, I know that, that, I, I know that science is limited. No, I know I accept it. No, no, it no, is no, 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 because you but can't, I you can't can measure something that I don't know if that exists. If, no, if, no. If I think hang on, I think the idea is if, clear. If, science, if, if you, if if you don't know method, that something exists, how are you supposed to measure it? If the scientific method has boundaries, yeah, it has. Then there must be things that are outside of the realm of that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then I've but asked, I don't know what that is. Then I've asked you, how do you establish them? And you said using science. Well, you can develop science to be brought to be brother. Oh, okay. Is it like this? Can I ask a question? So, if aliens came right now and they read they read this and they measured it, they wouldn't be able to know what that means in our world. They can only measure the material that is atoms. Yeah, ba basically, and they would never know the meaning if they never interacted it, it, with us. It's called, it's called I think it's called um, being a reductionist, where you break everything down into physics, chemistry, and biology. We don't get the meaning from these things. We don't get meaning. We don't get absolute truths from these things. Yeah. So what we're saying, what we're saying is that the, 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 the science. <laughs> and please don't understand. They don't know what's physical, basically. Don't, don't understand from us that we are opposed to science. It was the Islamic world that produced Ibn al-Haytham that kind of put forward the scientific method. Please don't understand conflicting yeah, issues. We're not saying that the scientific science is completely wrong. We're saying that science is a valid tool for us to live, to, to use and benefit from in our lives. But we don't expand that and say this is the only valid method of understanding truth. So you don't, you don't use science to prove the existence of God? It's not a, it's not a scientific question. It's not a scientific question. But then it's difficult to prove because yeah, most times you need science. So, so to you prove need to understand. You need to understand what are the other ways of proof of, of of knowing something. Which are those ways? Tell me one. Reason. Reason is not the same as scientific method. I think reason is logics, right? In the end, common sense. Look, look, look. Isn't that based my, on my reason? My reason can infer that this has a knowledgeable creator. Somebody with knowledge wrote that on there. My reason can infer further. Without me going to the scientific method, I can look at that using physics, chemistry, biology. I can't, I can't get the meaning of pull and bear. I can't get that meaning. That's just shapes with ink on, on, on another type of ink. Mm -hmm. But to get the meaning out of that, to get absolute truth from that, so you believe in absolute truth? Yeah, of course. Do you believe in absolute truth? That's an absolute statement. You, so there is no such thing as absolute truth? I don't know. By you saying no... I think it's trial and error. No, no. Trial and By you, error. This, is how, this is how basic it is. By you saying no, there is no absolute truth, that okay, is an absolute Let me rectify my answer. I don't know. You don't know. That's a statement of you, not know. a statement of the reality. But what we're saying is that... Who has a better uh, statement? Do you have a... Hang on, hang on. You cannot escape the reality that there is absolute truth. If you say no, there is no absolute truth. So, 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 wait, wait. Can, you, can you repeat that? You cannot escape the reality that there's either three possible answers from you. Yes, no, I don't know. I don't know doesn't change the reality. It either is or it isn't. Okay? That's a, that's a statement of your position, not a statement of the reality. Okay? It may be reality, I don't know. No, no, no. The reality is you don't know, but that doesn't change the reality. If you don't know my name, my name is still my name. Yeah. Okay? So what we're saying is that um, when it comes to absolute truths, either yes, there is absolute truths, or no, there isn't absolute truths. If you say no, there isn't absolute truths, then that is an absolute statement. Okay, so I don't say no, I say I don't know. That's fine, that's you, but we're talking about the reality. Yeah, okay, then there may be, there may not. I, I don't know. But you, you can prove it? You can prove it? I've just proved it already. If you say no, I say I'm not. Just judge this statement. Is this the next statement I'm gonna make? Is it an absolute statement or not? There is no such thing as absolute truth. I'm coming now. There is no such thing as absolute truth. Is that an absolute statement or not? That is an absolute truth, but that is impossible. It doesn't. That explodes. There you go. So the only other option which is left is yes, there is absolute truth. But then saying that there's no absolute truth, that is an absolute truth. Of course. But then it is an absolute truth that there are no absolute truths. But then what is truth? You've just baffled me. Then. <laughs> this is the problem. This is the, this is the very problem. So you see, so you say that there are absolute truths. Yes. So, so you, you can see. Okay. There's either two options. There's absolute truths or no absolute okay, truths. To say that to say there is no absolute truth. That is an absolute truth. Right? Absolute truth. Okay. So it means that there is an absolute truth. Yeah. That there are no absolute truths. Yeah. That means so that at the same time. Exactly. So the other one is not a contradiction. Yeah, if the other one saying that there are there are truths. Truth. Yeah, okay. well, go, go. What's the website I told you to check out? 
don't remember the name. What's the name? About atheism. Okay. Dot net. Okay. okay. What was your name, my friend? Joma. Joma. Anwar. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm.